catch the beat. Not on the spot. Well done. Standing nice and tall. Think of lifting that head up, looking forward, relaxing the shoulders. We're going to take it two forward, two back. So stay facing me so you can see what I'm doing. Want to make it harder? You make it a step bigger. If you want to make it easier, just make it really small. Your body, your workout, so your choice. I'm going to stay facing you, stay facing me. Don't worry if you're not in time with me. Don't worry if you're not in time with the music. More importantly, just keep moving. Well done. We're going to go for a pause in a moment. We're going to change the lead leg. Hold it here. Four, three, two. Left leg forward and back. So left leg forward. Well done. Make it as big or as small as you need to. Hold it here, tap. Change leg, right, left, right, left. Pause if you need to. Change it slightly this time. Three, two, one, and a lift. Three, two, one, knee lift. Now if you don't want to do a knee lift, do a toe tap. Stay facing me. Unless I say to turn, always stay facing me. It'd be so much easier to see what I'm doing if you're facing the, the camera. March it through, right, left. Two forward, two back. Well done. Try and keep those shoulders relaxed. Arms swinging however's comfortable for you. So they might be straight, they might be slightly bent. Whatever works for you. Well done. You're doing great. Pause and change, left, right. So left foot forward, left foot back, left foot forward, left foot back. Well done. Pause and change. Right foot. Well done. Pause and change. Right foot. Left foot even, that's my right foot. <laughs> Pause and change. You're right. Right, left, right, left, change. Left, right, left, right, well done. Catch the bead, we're gonna go into side steps. Make sure you've got enough space to go two steps to the right. Let's take single steps for now. So if you need to do a small step, take it across to this side. Tapping the toe across in front. Arms swing gently, shoulders are relaxed, well done. Head lifted, think about pulling your tummy back where you'd like it to be. Take it back to normal side step. Well done. Let's swim with the arms, two steps, swim. Pull, swim, pull back, swim, pull back. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Pull back, swim. Pull back, swim. Pull back. Hold it here, single steps, relax those shoulders. We're going to go back to those double side steps. Stay facing me, but I'm going to turn so you can see a little bit what I'm doing this time. So two steps. I'm trying to keep the hands about shoulder height. So touch your shoulders, reach forward if you can. If that doesn't work, make it smaller. Do what feels right for you. Well done. So that's hurting your ankles. Keep it smaller.
back to single side steps, relax the arms. Think about putting your belly in again. Keep breathing. Most important thing, keep breathing. You're gonna fall over otherwise. Well now, tapping that toe across in front. But challenging your balance slightly by taking that foot across. Well done. Side step. Some of these pieces of music are, seem to have odd beats. I'm sure it's not me. Let's do two steps. And pull. Pull. Stay the same with the arms. This time forward. Well done. Side steps. Catch the beat. I've been fighting everything you say. So this track is relatively fast, so maybe keep the steps a little bit smaller. Coming forward, four, and back for four, and again, hold it here, arms out to the side, Two steps. Let me give it all to you. Give it all to you, yeah. Lifting those elbows up to the side, really feel it in the back of the arms if you lift them high enough. Hold it to singles. Bring it forward for four. That's four, three, two, one. And back. Again, make it as big or as small as you want. It's your body, your workout. And back. Hold it here. Ready to go two steps. Four, three, two steps. If you can, take those elbows out to the side, lift them up. Really feel the back of the arms working, but you don't have to. Single here. The arm flags. Coming forward for four, three, two. Make those steps as big or as small as you want. If you're struggling for breath, make it smaller or march on the spot. Do what feels right for you, for your body. Two steps. And back. Well done. <laughs> Feels a little bit awkward, doesn't it? But it really is giving a little bit of work to the back of the arms, maybe working those back wings a bit. I hope so. Well done, hold it here. Relax the arms. Coming forward. Four, four, three, two. Keep it moving and back. Four, three, two. Marching right left. Try to keep those feet nice and light. Right left. Right left. Right left. Any time it feels too much, leave the arms out and make the moves smaller. If you want to make it hard, lift those knees a little bit higher. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. Stay facing me, please. It'll be easier for you. So we're going to take that to half time with a little bit of a tap.
Well done. <laughs> Back to normal marching. Well done. And that tap, the tap. The arms out to the side, little bicep curls. So as I said at the beginning, if it's too much, Please leave out the arms, do what feels right. Normal side marching, just let the arms swing comfortably, shoulders relax, head lifted, really lengthen the back of the neck. Those half time toe taps, side arms. March on the spot, arms in front this time. Try and touch the shoulders, reach away about shoulder height. If that doesn't work for you, do what feels right, leave the arms out. You've got to work at your own level. If you want to make it harder, you could take the arms up as well. I'm going to take it somewhere in the middle. Ready for those half time? With the side bicep arms, are you ready? Well done. March, arms out in front. Or up if you prefer. Well done, just keep moving. More important you keep moving than following me exactly. Well done. We're going to start to cool the body down now, so just slowly lifting the heels. Well done. If you would keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. Really massaging the feet into the floor. Well done. Stay facing me, it makes it a lot easier. Catch your breath. You really want to get that heart rate down now. We're going to touch it out to the side. So it's slow. You're challenging your balance here slightly. But you can put weight on that foot, you can make it small, or you can almost float the foot just above the, the mat, the floor. I'm about to change and we're going to take that foot in front. Forward, lift, forward. Now, if you can't lift it, just take it forward, bend, forward, lift, forward, doesn't have to be very high. Really challenging your balance here. If you need to hold something, please do. Must be a chair, sofa, for me, the wall. Let's take it here, back to the joggers, walk slow. Circle your shoulders back. Stay facing me again. I want your feet about hip width apart. So it's not really wide. We're going to take the right foot back. Hold it back. Push the heel down. Now adjust the front. Your knee should be above the ankle. And you might find you're here in order to get that heel down. You might find it all the way back here. Go with what works for you. Reaching forward and back. Hold it here. Push that heel down. Relax your lower back. Lean on the leg if you need to. If you're struggling with your balance, take the legs a bit wider. Well done. I'm going to turn again so you can see a little bit better what's going on. Watch you've not let that heel drop in. Feet should both be pointing forward. Have a quick check, both feet pointing in the same direction. Come forward, left leg back. And in. Well 
well done. Hold it back, push that heel down, and adjust. Knees above the ankle at the front. You need to be able to balance. Hold it down and stretch. Well done, just hold that stretch. Watch that back foot's pointing forward and hold. 